everybody, welcome back. And today I'm making a video in my living room, which I am seriously so stoked about. I did not think that this would ever really happen. Uh, we've been remodeling my house for well over a year now and HGTV, you lie, okay? Everything is harder and takes longer than what you show. I guess that is the magic of television. Anyhow, I want to make a video today about First Descent. First Descent is this amazing organization that provides life-changing adventure trips to young adults impacted by cancer. I'm getting ready to go to New Zealand in seven days with First Descent, and this will be my third First Descent trip beyond excited to go to New Zealand like I cannot it's all I've been thinking about for like the last month and now as it gets near like it's crazy I'm so excited anyway I make this video today with kind of a heavy heart you know it's really easy to think young adult cancer survivor but the reality of young adult cancer is that sometimes people die Cancer is the leading disease-related cause of death in young adults. And as mentioned, I make this video kind of a heavy heart because within the last couple of months, we've lost a couple of members of our young adult cancer community, specifically our first descent community. And I didn't know either one of them, but it's still such a loss. Um, they were both founding super active members of the community. And that's because, you know, First Descent really, really made a difference in, in their lives and in our lives. And here's why that's so important. Um, a lot of something that you don't think about with cancer is that mental health is a really, really big issue expect during, but especially after. And it's not uncommon for young adults dealing with cancer to suffer from depression, anxiety, isolation, loneliness. And these are all things that I have personally experienced. And even a longer time, like, as in like right now, I suppose, being able to talk about these things. And so, the first descent is so important. These trips are life-changing. And I know that I am kind of a cancer, kind of, I am a really big cancer camp junkie. And people think a lot of times, and I worry about this quite a bit actually, that I present cancer as though it's like this fun cool experience and that's not necessarily true i mean yes there are lots of really fun cool opportunities to go on trips and and i worry sometimes that when people find out about yet another cancer trip i'm going on uh they think oh this girl another cancer trip but these things are so important and they have hands down changed my life. I mean, Christ, I'm getting ready to go to New Zealand and I never thought that that would have been possible like four years ago before I had cancer. And speaking of four years ago, um, a couple of days ago was actually my four year cancer anniversary. I wanted to make a video on that day, but I don't know. I just felt kind of weird and uh, one thing that's important as far as mental health is you know being kind to yourself on those days when you know you just don't feel right so um, I didn't make the video obviously and just a few of the issues that young adult cancer people um, struggle with uh, our body image issues. Man, our bodies have been through a lot. We've lost our hair. We've had surgeries. We've lost parts of our bodies. Breast, balls, 
prostates, colons, limbs, and countless other parts of our bodies. And as you can imagine, with all that, we've been through lots of surgeries, and we just, and there's a lot of fear that's associated with cancer treatment and having a cancer diagnosis. And so the cool thing about these first ascent adventure programs is, you know, a lot of us have never been rock climbing or kayaking or ice climbing or surfing. And while that's a really cool thing to learn how to do in any situation, it's especially important to us because we've kind of like had this bad relationship or this bad body image that we've developed through cancer and you know a lot of us a lot of times I, I mean I kind of felt this way like my body had betrayed me and be able to have this opportunity to challenge and connect with and to be able to you know, put that faith in your body again and really challenge yourself to do this new cool thing. The Sense provides this unique opportunity to be able to face fear in a way that isn't negative. Considering like we've had so much fear over treatments and diagnosis and surgeries and feelings and everything, this is a really cool way to realize that fear isn't necessarily a terrible thing and that's something I feel like you kind of forget when you're going through cancer. Another huge benefit of programs like First Ascents and First Ascents itself is that it really provides this community. I mean think about it like you have peers and you have mom friends and dad friends and couple friends but when you're, when you have cancer, you need cancer friends, right? But you don't know where to meet these people and you, I mean, I felt so, so isolated and so alone. And these aren't things that like are singular to me. These are pretty common experiences. And so what these programs really do are give us an opportunity to create this amazing community that we can turn to and, and share our struggles and our fears and our worries and our and also the really good things, the the adventures. One of the huge things about First Ascents is their motto is outliving it. Like, let's get out, let's outlive it. Like, so what this happened to us? Let's embrace it and do crazy crazy beautiful things and and so that's why these trips are so important in the young cancer community so if you know someone who has a cancer diagnosis or has been affected by that tell them about first descents these programs are awesome i mean i'm going to new zealand in seven days that's awesome with these cool people who I don't know yet, but what I always am struck by on these programs is just the pretty instant sense of unity. It's just so awesome to be around people who just get it. You know, they just understand. And we don't even have to talk about cancer necessarily. I mean, it always comes up in some way or another, but we don't have to talk about that to feel this instant bond. And it's just a, really the coolest and most life-changing thing. So anyway, let's talk about real fast the programs that First Ascent offers. The first program that they offer is your initial, it's called an FD1. And your initial program is free of cost. And I believe the choices they might have, might have changed a little bit. Um, rock climbing, ice climbing, kayaking, whitewater rafting, and I think surfing. Um, and you get these awesome opportunities and they're free and you get to meet this awesome community of young adult cancer survivors. The second type of trip, The second type of 
program that First Ascents offers is they have some local communities that do weekend trips and stuff. I my local my closest local is Chicago, which isn't super local, but totally worth it regardless. So we got the opportunity to go rock climbing in Wisconsin, and they've had a couple more um, weekend trips. I just wasn't able to go. Um, and then the third type of program that First Ascents offers are international programs called FDX. And I know I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I'm going to New Zealand in seven days. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm going to, leading up to, I'm going to make a couple more videos. Uh, so now that I've yammered on about First Ascent, I tried not to ramble too much, but I just have so many good things to say. It's hard not to. And why these things are so important. Um, I'm going to link a link to First Ascent's websites below. And I've also talked about First Ascent in another video, I think. Which I will also link below. And then, if you want to come back and see more... Uh, video is about New Zealand and my fun ex New Zealand experience. Uh, come back.